Charles Anthon was an American classical scholar. Life. His father George Christian Anthon was a German physician who served in the British Army during the American Revolution until the surrender of Detroit in 1788. George attained the rank of Surgeon General, resigned, married the daughter of a French officer, and settled in New York City. Charles was born there on November 19, 1797, graduated with honors from Columbia College in 1815, and, after studying law, was called to the bar in 1819. He never practiced. Instead, the next year, he was appointed assistant professor of Greek and Latin at his old college. In 1830, he was made a full professor and become the headmaster of the Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School. In 1835, he succeeded to the chair of Professor Morse. He retired from the grammar school in 1864 and died in New York on July 29, 1867. Works he produced a large number of classical works for use in colleges and schools, which enjoyed great popularity. Although schoolmasters themselves sometimes disliked their use by students, owing to the large amount of assistance and translations contained in the notes, he also wrote a manual of Greek literature from the earliest authentic periods to the close of Byzantine era, providing a list of all Greek writers in that period, with a summary of their life and works and a bibliography of editions then in use. The overview is still useful today, but outdated. His intention to provide a similar volume for Latin literature was never fulfilled. Dr. Anton's work was carried on by his successor, Henry Drizzler. Anthon Transcript Charles Anthon is famous in connection with the history of the Latter-day Saint movement because of his interactions with Martin Harris concerning a fragment of Joseph Smith's translation of the Book of Mormon. The fragment was later known as the Anthon Transcript. According to Harris, Anthon wrote Harris a letter of authenticity declaring the fragment to contain true Egyptian characters. Anthon was also reported to have confirmed the translation of these characters as correct, when informed that an angel of God had revealed the characters to Joseph Smith. Anthon reportedly tore up the authentication stating that there was no such thing as angels and asked Harris to bring the plates to him for translation. Martin Harris went to Dr. Samuel L. Michel afterwards and received a letter of authenticity from him. Anthon, however, disagreed with Harris's version of their encounter and stated in a letter to a Mr. E.D. How on February 17, 1834, that the story of Vanton's authentication was false, that Anthon had identified the writings as a hoax, and that Anthon had told Harris that the writings were part of a scheme to cheat the farmer, Martin Harris, of his money, acquaintance with Poe. Dr. Anthon was a friend and correspondent of Edgar Allan Poe who attempted to use the acquaintance with him to gain a national reputation in literature and journalism as well as publication in 1845 of Poe's collected stories through Harper and Brothers. This was, however, unsuccessful due to an accusation of plagiarism against Poe. Publications Reference and instructional works Charles Anthon, Elements of Latin Prosody and Meter, New York, Swords online, a classical dictionary, containing a copious account of all the proper names mentioned in ancient authors etc., by J. Lomprier, D.D., 5th American edition, corrected and improved by Charles Anthon, online, Richard Valpy, The Elements of Greek Grammar, with editions by C. Anthon, 8th edition, online, Charles Anthon, A Grammar of the Greek Language, online, revised and corrected by the Rev. J.R. Major, D.D., London, Thomas Tegg, online, Charles Anthon, A System of Greek Prosody and Meter, for the use of schools and colleges, online, online, Charles Anthon, A System of Latin Prosody and Meter, from the best authorities, ancient and modern, Harper and Brothers, online, Charles Anthon, First Greek Lessons, containing all the inflections of the Greek language, together with appropriate exercises in the translating and writing of Greek, for the use of beginners, 
Anton's Greek Lessons, Part 1, Online, Charles Anthon, An Introduction to Greek Prose Composition, Anton's Greek Lessons, Part 2, Online, Charles Anthon, First Latin Lessons, Containing the Most Important Parts of the Grammar of the Latin Language, Together with Appropriate Exercises in the Translating and Writing of Latin, For the Use of Beginners, Anton's Latin Grammar, Part 1, Online, Charles Anthon, An Introduction to Latin Prose Composition, Anton's Latin Grammar, Part 2, Online, Charles Anthon, A Classical Dictionary, Containing an Account of the Principal Proper Names Mentioned in Ancient Authors, Harper and Brothers, Online, A New Abridgment of Ainsworth's Dictionary, English and Latin, for the use of grammar schools, by John Dimmick, Ull, D. New American Edition with Corrections and Improvements by Charles Anthon, Philadelphia, Butler and Williams, online, Charles Anthon, A System of Latin Versification, in a series of progressive exercises, online, A School Dictionary of Greek and Roman Antiquities, abridged from the larger dictionary by William Smith, Ull, D with corrections and improvements by Charles Anthon, Ull, D. Online, Charles Anthon, A System of Ancient and Medieval Geography for the Use of Schools and Colleges. Online, Charles Anthon, A Manual of Roman Antiquities, with numerous illustrations. Online, Charles Anthon, A Manual of Grecian Antiquities, with numerous illustrations. Online, Charles Anthon, A Manual of Greek Literature from the Earliest Authentic Periods to the Close of Byzantine Era. Online, a copious and critical English-Latin lexicon, founded on the German-Latin Dictionary of Dr. Charles Ernest George by Joseph Esmond Riddle and Thomas Kirch Ever Arnold. First American edition, carefully revised and containing a copious dictionary of proper names from the best sources by Charles Anthon, Ull, D. New York, Harper and Brothers, online, a Latin-English and English-Latin dictionary, for the use of schools, chiefly from the lexicons of Freund, George, and Kult Schmidt by Charles Anthon, online, a school, grammar of the Latin language by C.G. Zumpt, translated and adapted by Leonhard Schmitz, corrected and enlarged by Charles Anthon, online, a new classical dictionary of Greek and Roman biography, mythology and geography, partly based upon the Dictionary of Greek and Roman Biography and Mythology by William Smith, Ull, D. Revised, with numerous corrections and additions, by Charles Anthon, Ull, D. Online, school editions with commentary C. Crispy Salusti Opera, Amissus Fragmentis, Omnia, Ad Optimorum Exemplarium Fidem Recensita, Animadversionibus Illustravit P. Wilson, Ull, D. Fourth ed. Recensut Notice Cassuas Ads Persit Charles Anthon, New York, Carvel, Online, Charles Anthon, Crispy Salustii de Catalini Conjuration Abello Juguatino Historiae, New York, Carvel Online, 4th ed, Boston Online, Salus Juguatino War and Conspiracy of Catiline, with an English commentary, and Geographical and Historical Indexes, 6th ed, New York, Harper and Brothers Online, 6th ed. Online, 10th ed. Online, Charles Anthon, Caesar's Commentaries on the Gallic War, and the first book of the Greek paraphrase, with English notes, critical and explanatory, plans of battles, sieges, etc., and historical, geographical, and archaeological indexes, Harper and Brothers. Online, Charles Anthon, Horatio Flatchy Poemata, New York. Carvel, online, The Works of Horace, with English notes, critical and explanatory, Harper and Brothers, new edition online, The Greek Reader, by Frederick Jacobs, new edition, with English notes, critical and explanatory, a metrical index to Homer and Annika on, and a copious lexicon, by Charles Anthon, online, Charles Anthon, The Aeneid of Virgil, with English notes, critical and explanatory, a metrical clavish, and historical, geographical, and mythological index, Harper and Brothers.
Online, Charles Anthon, Tully I Ciceronus Orationus Selector, X Recensioner Joe, August, Ernest E., with an English commentary, London, Priestley Online, New Edition, London Online, Selectorations of Cicero, with English notes, Critical and Explanatory, New Edition, New York, Harper and Brothers, Online, New Edition Online, Charles Anthon, The Decenectute, De Ramachitia, Paradoxa, and Somnium Scipionus of Cicero, and The Life of Atticus by Cornelius Nepus, with English notes, critical and explanatory. Online, Charles Anthon, The First Six Books of Homer's Iliad with English Notes, Critical and Explanatory, A Metrical Index, and Homeric Glossary. Harper and Brothers. Online, The First Three Books of Homer's Iliad, According to the Ordinary Text, and also with the Restoration of the Digamma. New Edition by Benjamin Davies, London Online. Charles Anthon, The Anabasis of Xenophon, with English Notes, Critical and Explanatory, Harper and Brothers, Online, Charles Anthon, Cornelius Nepus with Notes, Historical and Explanatory, Harper and Brothers, Online, Charles Anthon, The Germania and Agricola, and also Selections from the Annals, of Tacitus, with English Notes, Critical and Explanatory, Online, online, Charles Anthon, The Satires of Juvenal and Perseus with English Notes Critical and Explanatory, from the Best Commentators, Harper and Brothers, online, Hubert Ashton Holden, M.T., Ciceronus de Officii is a libretres, with marginal analysis and an English commentary, first American edition corrected and enlarged by Charles Anthon, online, Charles Anthon, an English commentary on the Rhesus, Medea, Hippolytus, Alchastis, Heraclidae, Suplices, and Troads of Euripides, online, brothers, his brother John Anthon was a noted jurist. His brother Henry Anthon was a noted clergyman.